We're looking at a hospital in Tegela Ferry in South Africa where the people are infected with strains of mycobacterium tuberculosis. They're resistant to all 10 drugs that we use to treat tuberculosis. I have to tell you that the first time I went there, it was the first time I was ever afraid, you know, in a hospital because these people have strains that we find as being untreatable. Surprisingly, vitamin C will kill these strains. My lab has worked for the last 20 years on a drug called isoniazid that very effectively kills mycobacterium tuberculosis. One of the new classes of mutations that we had isolated that confer resistance to isoniazid allowed us to consider the possibility that a specific reducing agent was inactivating the isoniazid. So we added this with the isoniazid expecting that we'd get resistance and to our surprise it actually led to sterilization and we discovered that this reducing agent actually induced in tuberculosis free radicals and it was the free radicals that were killing the TB. We decided to try another reducing agent and in this case we tried vitamin C. We saw that just like the other reducing agent, it in combination with isoniazid sterilized the culture. Even more surprisingly was when we left out the TB drug isoniazid and just had vitamin C alone, we discovered that vitamin C kills tuberculosis. When Catherine Vilchez, the lead author on this paper, first showed me this result, I, I was in disbelief. I, how could this be that vitamin C could kill tuberculosis? Our work has been published in the journal Nature Communications. First, we've discovered that vitamin C kills mycobacterium tuberculosis cells. Then we asked, does this work against the drug resistant strains that are plaguing the world? And in fact, it works not only on the multi-drug resistant strains, but the totally drug resistant strains as well. One of the things that you would like in an ideal drug is have a drug that doesn't induce resistance. To this day, we have been unsuccessful in isolating vitamin C resistant mutants, which is very surprising. That's almost like the dream drug that you would like to have that you never would get resistance. We've only been able to demonstrate this in a test tube, and we don't know if it will work you know, in humans and in animals. But in fact, before this study, you wouldn't have even thought about trying this study, you know, in humans. And this would be a great study to consider because we have strains of tuberculosis that we don't have drugs for. And I know in the laboratory that we can kill those strains with vitamin C.